Welcome back, Cocoholics. Day late and a dollar short. I wished I'd had this yesterday, uh, but I didn't actually get it until today. And uh, unfortunately, I was too short for this double bag purchase. I uh, hit up Ollie's because they had another blowout purchase of bait and tackle. And uh, I decided on a whim, I was in the neighborhood, I'd drop in and see what they had uh, for what they re-upped. And uh, lo and behold, I missed out on saving some extra money with that 10% off coupon, but nevertheless, I still got some great deals on their day-to-day -day prices. Um, so right after this, we're going to see what goodies I picked up yesterday, and a few of these things are definitely going in our Christmas in July uh, giveaway. said uh, I stopped into Ollie's and I grabbed a, a bunch of goodies not just including fish and tackle I go in there for other items uh, but while I was there I picked up a bunch of fish and tackle stuff uh, we're gonna start with this big bag first there's some crossover stuff in between both and in fact there's a few items in these bags that are actually coinciding with a mail order that I picked up uh, not realizing that they'd have this brand at Ollie's similar to those um, those bats that I'd hunted for a long, long time, uh, trying to get uh, those uh, topwater bat lures, and lo and behold, they showed up in Ollie's. Uh, there's some odd brand that I never thought I'd see in my local region uh, that I picked up. Lo and behold, I didn't realize that the same item occurred in a upcoming video you'll see from that manufacturer because I placed a mail order for some, some goodies, including some items that I'm gonna cherry pick out of that uh, to also add to our Christmas in July. But starting off right now, let's hit it up with a couple of the Live Target bait balls. Um, both of these are their three inch, uh, one ounce, 16 foot diving bait balls. You've got one in a thread fin shad uh, that is in the, let's see, um, metallic pearl blue, and the other one in, is in metallic lavender. So we've got the metallic lavender, and we've got the metallic blue pearl. So it's a little blue highlight on the top as opposed to the purple hue on the top for the lavender. So we got those goodies right there. I picked up uh, a really cool uh, Booyah Hildebrandt blade in the 3 8 ounce. This is their Covert series in their spinner bait and I like this one because um, let's see if we can peel some of this sticker away here uh, this has got that painted kicker Colorado blade and sometimes the best bite you can get is a spinner bait with a painted kicker blade I even keep uh, the small little rattle cans like you get for automotive for touch-ups uh, the pens and all and I used to keep the paint in the with a little eyedropper and had like a nail polish paintbrush um, of, of certain little paints that I would go around and um, some of my spinner baits I would give a chartreuse or an orange or a red or a black or, or a bright yellow uh, just a small blade as a kicker blade because believe it or not that can be a game changer especially if everybody else around you is throwing gold and chrome blades you throw that little orange kicker in, in dingy water especially it lands bites guaranteed um, what else we got We've got ourselves some big, big stuff. Here's a live target yellow perch. And I have an upcoming mail order that I placed not moments ago to help me with throwing this bad boy. So this is an 8 to 10 foot diving, weighs 3 and a quarter ounces. So this is not something you're going to throw on your bait finesse reel. Uh, this is going with my, um, with my big rod and big reel setup. I just ordered online a brand new rod to swap over my uh, my reel onto because as currently I was using a pen reel or excuse me a pen rod um, and I want to use my beast on um, on a more more spinning or more bait caster specific rod 
Right now the rod is a pen, it's a spinning rod, um, but I know and I trusted it, and it hasn't given me any problems. Um, but as always, you know, it's a jerry-rigged way of doing it, and I'm going to get a proper, uh, well-rounded rod specifically for my heavy baits. Y'all know um, I've got a lot of 3-4 uh, ounce uh, baits, jerk baits, lures, soft plastics, um, and I needed a dedicated uh, setup just for that, which I kind of, like I said, uh, Rube Goldberg and Frankenstein together that. So now I've decided to hunker down and just go for a... Uh, a name brand, high quality rod that I have a lot of faith in. It's been tried and true, tested, been out for a few years now. So uh, I'll have a video exposing that shortly. Uh, carrying on here, I also got another live target, target perch. This is their soft plastic. Um, this one is four and three quarter ounces. Again, for that heavy weight stuff, soft plastic. Big boot tail on this. Uh, one of those that I like to run for musky. Big pike, etc. Big bass also go for that. Um, we've got ourselves trying to avoid these because those are the crossovers I'm talking about a little later. I've got my GT Coastal's GT 360s. These are awesome little soft plastics. So um, these are from Storm. Uh, we've got them in. Uh, these are the Manta tails, and we've got four inch. It's got a three odd hook. You comes with three bodies and a, and a pre weighted hook, ready to go. And I've got Silver Mullet and Electric Chicken. Electric Chicken is another one of my great favorite colors, that chartreuse and pink. Um, I do a lot of Wacky Rig and, um, and you know, Wacky Rig Worms, Senkos, with that Electric Chicken color. And uh, it's been pretty darn advantageous. I've got a, uh, oh, there goes the bag. <laughs> I've got a lar Live Target Popper in the Bait Ball. So we've got the Live Targets Bait Ball Surface Popper. This one is in Silver Smoke with that white feathered treble. A few of these things that I'm showing you are certainly going in that Christmas in July. But uh, that's for me to know and you to find out. Because there's going to be a lot of stuff, let me tear this bag open here, that you might not realize ends up in that giveaway. Got another one of those Booyahs. This one doesn't have the painted kicker. This has just got... A uh, copper and copper, or gold and gold blade. Uh, same thing. It's um, this one's in the white chartreuse and silver pattern, but it's also three eighths ounce. I got some more of the coastal three sixties. Um, I also like chartreuse, so this one here is in uh, chartreuse and pearl pepper, and I also got it in the glow. Glow is great. It's kind of like this pearlescent, um, and you know. Always keep handy dandy that, that light, and it does, in fact, glow. So you can see you can charge that up, and you see it glowing back at you. Awesome for night fishing. Um, you know, I always keep these little black lights handy, specifically for testing things like that. So you see the straight out of the package, and you see the one that I charged up with the, uh, the black light. Awesome baits, again. Night fishing is epic. Got another one of those poppers. From, uh, from the Bait Ball Live Target Collection. This one is the silver, blue, and green. Silver, blue, and green. So there's that. Switch over to this guy here. I got another Deep Diver. This is another uh, one and three eighths ounce, three and a half inch, dives to 20 feet, Bait Ball. More of the Threadfin Shad. This color I really do like. This is that Ghost Green, or Green Ghost as they call it. Really great minnow, shiner um, kind of pattern. Definitely awesome. Another popper. You can kind of tell somebody's getting a popper in there. <laughs> uh, this one is in 3 8 3 inch, and it is the gold bronze color. So, let's see that. Uh, I got, obviously going in, I just thought, you know, people need... To fillet their catches and I'm hoping that you guys collect a lot of fish with this giveaway and all the packages so I'm gonna throw in there a nice very sharp uh, fillet knife it's a flexible fillet knife seven inches from uh, Cabela's brand so you know I, I like Cabela's exclusives um, Kershaw has never given me problems and it comes with a hard hard um, storage units which I always like having a hard plastic or a, a very sturdy rather than 
either on a hard leather also, but I don't like it when they have those cloth covers. Um, I like something that protects the blade and protects the person around them. So be careful when you open the package. It's still going to be in here. But uh, I am including uh, a fillet knife in the giveaway. Catching on, we've got also a really cool jerk bait. This one from, Luck, uh, from uh, Lucky Craft. From, obviously, I love my JDM stuff. This is a slow suspending pointer 128, and it is a four to five foot diver. Weighs about an ounce. I love that 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 chrome pattern with that holographic color and the red goil. Uh, this is the uh, what color they got on this? I don't think I remember the color. I just saw that holograph and it just it popped in my eyes. So I was like, I love that. That's a great minnow pattern, shiner pattern. One more popper. Also in the silver, blue, and green. So, another popper from, from Live Target. And we'll touch on two new things. Since I had got those small bat lures from Savage Gear, which I never thought would show up in, um, you know, in Ollie's of all places. I had them in the brown. I had them in the gray. They had one single black left so I scooped that up for myself and those are in the four inch uh, size but they also come in a five inch that weighs two ounces so I decided I saw these guys so I picked them up in the two ounce uh, the larger profile um, yeah this is more or less wall dressing it's just to add to my collection of the rest of them but uh, I just figured if I've got one size I might as well get them all right why catch one when you can catch them all and finally, the crossover context of this. And I'm hoping that some of you have maybe have some, uh, some good salt water around you. I don't know where this box is going. It might end up in a coastal area. But I had been, I've been a fan of Chase Baits. Uh, like you say, I picked up the, the, uh, the mud bug color and the, I think it was the purple uh, color or what have you, green pumpkin um, of their, their love bugs. And uh, I decided to follow in Chase Baits, not knowing that it'd be at Ollie's of all places. They've got the ultimate squids. These things have intrigued me. I just never pulled the trigger on them getting them in from the mail because, you know, first off, I'm not around saltwater right now. I grew up around saltwater where this would have been a daily, a daily use. Um, but uh, I figured, what the heck not. Um, I'd, uh, you know, I'd give it a shot. I saw them there. They have them in the two sizes. This is in the bottle, bottle squid. This is in the crystal squid. They also had a smaller size here, the ultimate squid. This color is called nitro. So I got two of the nitro. So what I'm gonna do is, just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna throw in a nitro and the bottle. These two really cool reddish chartreuse bright colors more sort of natural with the blood color in it. Maybe, just maybe, Texas rigging this, you might catch something. Who knows? Um, my suggestion, use like a four or five lot hook on this guy. Uh, but uh, you never know. Maybe even a six lot. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, for, for $5.99, which I think is far cheaper than what you get it online, uh, I figured, why the heck not? I'll pull the trigger and I'll get them. So I got one for me, one for me. One, two for you. Um, hopefully you'll have some fun, even if you don't ever actually throw them. I just think they're kind of nifty looking uh, little baits. They do, I'll open up mine here, so you're not to destroy your package. But uh, they do have this amazing, amazing frill down the side of this soft plastic saw. And when it goes through the water, these little frills ripple like mad. So uh, it's got little 3D-ish eyes in there. It's got the little, I mean, it really does look like a squid, right down to the little paddles. And it is a durable plastic. You're not going to tear them up um, that easy. It's really good from Chase Beats. Um, so I figured, why the heck not give it a shot? Lo and behold, I didn't realize in my mail order to Chase Baits of other things, I did pick up a, um, what they call their freshwater spring season bundle, which is like a mystery box. And they threw in a couple of things in there, and I had no idea, but they actually included a pack of these. So, uh, 
giving you one isn't putting me without because I have another one there. But I'm going to cherry pick some things out of it for myself and then some things out of it are going to one of you lucky guys who win that uh, Christmas in July giveaway. As I say, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Every day, every week, I keep thinking of things to put in there and uh, adding to the collection. So I hope it's going to bring somebody a whole lot of fun. Uh, as always, for me to you tight lines. Uh, tell me what you think about these baits. What do you think about the cool squid or the bigger bat or the poppers? Um, what was your favorite bait? I'll tell you what mine is. Mine's going to be this guy right here. When I go out looking for pike and muskie, big, 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 big fish, um, I'm looking to see that thing get munched. But uh, that'll be a little bit later. <laughs> that all said, as always, you guys take it easy, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, alcoholics.